Welcome to this Day One Conversation. I'm Peter Wallace, and with me today is the Reverend Dr. J. Barney Hawkins IV. Barney is Vice President for Institutional Advancement for Virginia Theological Seminary in Alexandria, Virginia, where he is also the Associate Dean for the Center for Anglican Communion Studies and Professor of Pastoral Theology. Barney, thanks for talking with us. Thanks, Peter. It's great to be here. Now, you've been at Virginia Theological Seminary for nearly 10 years now. Tell us about your various roles there over the years. Well, when I joined the faculty in 2000, uh, I was the director of the Doctor of Ministry program, and I found that to be most gratifying to work with people in the field who came back to the seminary to reflect theologically on their ministry. In 2007, a long-held dream of the Board of Trustees of the seminary was to staff the Center for Anglican Communion Studies. So I was asked to be its first director and associate dean. That's been lovely work at a time of much distress in the communion and very energizing uh, for me to encounter a wide theological spectrum of belief and practice. And then uh, in February of this year I became the Vice President for Institution Advancement. So I've enjoyed wearing a number of hats, and I guess the one hat that has been consistent is the one as Professor of Pastoral Theology and the teaching in the classroom, which I dearly love. So what does uh, a Vice President of Institutional Advancement do? What's your schedule like? I imagine a lot of travel. Being Vice President at uh, for Institution Advancement at Virginia Seminary is not for the faint heart. <laughs> Uh, these are times that demand the best of us because we are trying to advance an institution that has been enormously blessed in the past, but clearly with the present economic uncertainties that we all are facing, we have a lot of work to do. So I do a lot of travel. Uh, I connect with our alums and friends and find myself always looking for new friends because we know that the work we do is so critical to our church. We are shaping 25% of the clergy who are being ordained in the Episcopal Church. So that's a high calling to be sure that we have resources required and also a seminary fit for real service to the church in the 21st century. Now you didn't graduate from Virginia Theological Seminary, so what drew you there in 2000? No, I'm not a graduate, uh, and I am not a graduate of an Episcopal Seminary. I graduated from Duke Divinity School and loved my time there in the early 70s. I was drawn to Virginia Seminary because it's a seminary in the broad middle of the Episcopal Church. Uh, it is not a seminary that has a niche market. It's a seminary that wants to be for the whole church. Uh, that's for people who are high church and people who are low church. It's for liberals, it's for conservatives, it's for those who would be evangelical a fundamentalist, but also for what would be sometimes termed the progressives. So I was drawn to its real Catholic sensibility. Uh, obviously it's the Protestant Episcopal Seminary in Virginia, but in a real sense it's a seminary now for the nation and indeed for the Anglican Communion. And you, as you mentioned, have taught pastoral theology there. Um, how do you define that? What is pastoral theology and why is it important to study in seminary? Well, it's important in seminary to get the basics, to understand the Bible, to know what we mean by Christian tradition. It certainly is important to find your uh, liturgical presence and your preaching voice. There are many tools that one needs to be successful as a priest, but ultimately you have to apply all that you learn in uh, the classroom. So I see pastoral theology as applied theology. I see pastoral theology as the opportunity to take all that you know in your sort of intellectual uh, being and find the life of the mind there strengthened by the practice of your faith and vocation. And pastoral theology, um, in a real sense, is learning how to exegete human beings mm -hmm. and to be uh, sensitive to where people are in light of scripture and tradition. Barney Hawkins, thank you very much for talking with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Peter.